Syngap 1 is a terrible disease and it's important to me because my son has it. So there's only 250 kids in America that have this disease, 880 in the world. And my little seven-year-old boy who is otherwise perfect is missing 50% of what he needs of this protein. And as a result, he has epilepsy, intellectual disability, sleep delay, hypotonia, autism, and other terrible things. And so when he was diagnosed at the age of four, it was devastating for my wife and I. And we realized that there wasn't an organization that existed in America to um, raise funds and, and accelerate the science because the age we live in today, it's not crazy to think we could inject something into Tony that would help his brain work better and change the course of his life. And that organization didn't exist, so we created it. So Syngap-1 is, is a terrible disease. It's, it's not inherited. It is a genetic disease. So Syngap-1 is the gene that it happens on, but it doesn't mean that he got it from mom or dad. It, when we were created, we, some of, we all have typos. Most of those typos happened in irrelevant places. I had a typo that gave me a big nose. Not a big deal. My son had a typo that caused him to have a deficiency of Syngap-1. Big deal. But there are therapies available for genetic diseases today. And, and what the Syngap Research Fund, which is the organization we created, exists to do is to accelerate those ther therapies.